Vitamins. Hello everybody, Tom here from Code. I hope you're all doing very well. Today I'm going to discuss what vitamins are and why we take them and maybe how we can adjust them being in our lives. So, what are vitamins? Well, they're an essential part of your diet. Definitely, they are a chemical that is definitely needed within a healthy body or healthy diet, should I say. Without vitamins certain deficiencies will occur in your body for example and you'll laugh anyone from outside of the uk will laugh at the irony here but it's a fact b12 is a vitamin and it's a vitamin that a lot of people in the uk lack and one of the main sources is sunlight which says that we don't see a lot of sun but that is an absolute truth we don't see a lot of sun fact we don't so therefore we lack in that vitamin with regards to other vitamins that we should be getting, I would always be questioning why are you having to take vitamin supplements? Because at the end of the day, you should have a healthy enough diet that all of them are included. Okay? Example, you know, cod liver oil. Some people take cod liver oil supplements, you know, to help with the joints. It's particularly a good thing to take when you're getting older. And the simple answer to that is to eat more oily fish. Now, I can vouch for that one because I eat fish, but I don't eat a lot of fish. And I probably don't eat the right sort of fish to be getting enough cod liver oil in my diet. Therefore, I would probably then have to make that up by having that as a supplement. But under no illusions here, guys, everything that you need, or sh the body needs, should I say, should really be coming from your diet, okay? It should be coming from what you eat, what you consume, yeah? If you're lacking in anything, the first thing to be doing is to be questioning your diet. Well, why am I eating more, or why am I not eating that? Is it that I don't like it, I don't like the taste, or am I just not got a diet that supports that? But... If you find for some reason you're not eating the food that has that vitamin or that mineral or whatever it is you require, then you do have to go down the route of looking at supplements in the forms of vitamins. You can take vitamins that usually come in a like a, a box like that you know, big and by taking them you're boosting your body's amount of vitamins. And it's very important that we do look after this element 100% because deficiencies in certain vitamins can lead to problems in later life. You know, example, calcium. Calcium is required for bones and for bone strength. If you're lacking in calcium, your bones are going to be more likely to break. Not definitely, but you're leaving it to chance by having lack of calcium within your diet so the real sort of question about today's video is have a look at the things in your life in your diet should i say is there an area a food group that you don't have a lot of in your diet okay if you find that there is a big lack of a certain type of food Assess why that you're not eating it. And if you, for some reason, don't want to consume it, don't like it, whatever, then maybe look to replace what has not been eaten, consumed, should I say, with vitamin supplements. Nothing wrong with taking vitamins. But I would always question at first base, why in your diet are you not always getting that already? That's my take today, really, on this subject matter. Vitamins are great. They are great for boosting certain chemicals within your body which help you in all areas. But why equally 
do you not take them do you not have that already within your diet what is it that's lacking why is it lacking question that first before you start taking vitamins and then also maybe check with your doctor because you like anything you can have too much of something and too much of anything is never a good thing remember that okay it's all well and good having the recommended daily allowance of a certain thing but the moment you start putting too much of anything into your body it can have the opposite effect i'll give an example my granddad who's no longer with us bless him he was told many many years ago to take penicillin or aspirin as we call it to thin his blood this was because he had a stroke when he was in his 50s he stopped driving and you know he was told doctor's orders have an aspirin or a penicillin a day to thin your blood down took doctor's orders but what transpired is a massive build up of sodium sodium being salt and that salt ultimately led to more problems in his health which eventually did become a big issue in later life so always be a bit mindful about what you're consuming and why you're consuming it yeah there's plenty of websites that'll tell you what you recommended daily allowance is and what you should and shouldn't be consuming what levels of vitamins you need in your body always look to be in balance with that definitely but don't go too crazy because like anything you if you consume too much of it you can also end up not well or certain balances will be tipped as well and it won't work guys first video of free this week i want to say thank you all ever so much for listening I really appreciate your time and energy spent here on my channel. Thank you kindly. Here, put down in the comment section below. What's your take on vitamins and minerals? Do you consider that your diet is rich with it? Are you somebody that has to take the odd supplement? Hey, we all do. There's no judgment here today. Don't think that that's what this is all about. I'm not here to name and shame anyone and say your diet's rubbish. Not at all. I'm just merely making a point that these things are there if you need them and that's what they're there for remember remember to hit that subscribe button down below leave me a thumbs up and a like and let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know my next content's out guys i'll be back with my second video of the week in a couple of days time until then i want to say thank you all ever so much for listening as always really appreciate your time and energy spent here on my channel back in a couple of days as planned thank you all for listening take care of yourselves bye for now